What's going on everybody? Noah from Stage 3 Motorsports here and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove and replace your factory headlights on a 2018 to 2020 F-150. Start by grabbing a small ratchet with a 7mm socket on it and we're going to remove this screw here on the inside of the fender flare. Now we're going to run some blue painters tape along the edge of the valance here so we can get our pry tools in and pop this flare out away from the truck. Next you want to pull back your fender flare and inside the wheel well you'll see there's one last hidden black clip in here so we're going to use a pry tool to pop this out. You'll want to make sure you duplicate those same steps on the opposite side of the vehicle so that both of these fender flares are loose on each end. But once you've got that done, we can work on removing this valance here that kind of goes underneath the headlights and the grill. And we'll just start by popping the corners out. It's just held in with a couple plastic clips. So as we work it along, we should be able to get it free. At this point, you can pop the hood on your truck and we're gonna remove this shroud that's going over the top of the grill and the radiator by removing the plastic clips along the front of it. And you also wanna make sure you get the two clips that are holding the intake snorkel and the one that's hidden around the corner there. But once we have them all popped up, this should come free. Also make sure you get these three clips hidden behind the lip here on the back of the shroud. Beside your hood latch here, you'll see a wiring harness coming around that goes to a plug. And this is what's actually powering your grill shutters that sit behind the front section of the grill. So we're just gonna grab onto this connector and you'll push where my thumb is, kind of wiggle it back and that'll come free. And then we're also gonna use our pry tool to pop up on this clip that's holding the harness to the grill. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to grab a ratchet and a 10 millimeter socket to remove these four screws along the top. Moving down underneath your headlight on each side, there's gonna be a screw we need to back out. So grab a ratchet, an extension, and an eight millimeter socket, and we'll undo these. From here to pull the grill off the truck, you're gonna to wanna to grab onto the front of it, kinda of next to where it meets the headlight, and just give it a little bit of a wiggle backward. Then as you pull it out, you'll see it'll pull away from the light. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Once you hear it unclick, the only thing that's going to be holding it is just some clips along the bottom. So you'll need to give it a little bit more force, but it should pop free. And I'm just going to bring it out towards me. With the grill out of the way, we can come over to the top of our headlight and we're going to remove this plastic clip as well as these two screws using a 10 millimeter socket. At the bottom corner of the headlight here, next to our fender flare, there's another screw we need to back out. The last two fasteners we need to remove are these two screws down here. The outside one's going to be a 10 millimeter, and this one's going to be an 8.
After you have the two screws out, you're going to want to come to this plastic air dam underneath the headlight. Put your pry tool in between that plastic and kind of push down and you'll see that there's some clips in here that are holding onto the bottom of it. So we're just going to work these forward so that they're not clinging to the bottom of the light as we try to pull it out. Now we're finally able to remove the headlight housing from the truck and in order to do this I'm going to pull the light forward as opposed to just pulling it sideways because there's one last pin here that kind of pushes into the fender. All right, there we go. The light's free. Now we just need to undo our wiring in the back. All right, everybody, got the headlight out of the truck. So at this point, all you need to do is just walk back on the same steps we did to remove the headlight to install your new unit. So if you wanna check out from here, you're good to go and I'll see you next time. But if you do wanna hang around, I am gonna throw in these new OEM XLT special edition headlights that I had on hand from another build. I think they're gonna look a little better on this truck and really the only difference between these and the regular headlights that were in it is just this nice dark gray metallic bezel along the inside that gives kind of a smoked blacked out look to it. So it matches pretty nicely with the factory grill. I'm gonna throw these in here and then I'll throw up a couple before and after shots at the end so you can get a look at the change. But with that being said, I'm going to get right back into it.